Hi hey YouTube, welcome again. Welcome to my channel, the ultimate guide to ace your self interviews. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on, turn on the notification bell so you will not never you will not miss a video. So let's start uh, quite fast in this problem. Basically, we have a binary tree in order to traverse. It's just a straightforward. We have a, ro a, a root of a binary tree return the in order travels of of its node value. Okay, so basically we have this one, two, three. We will we will get the root as, uh, as input as an array and we return one three two one three two if we got an empty array we could return an empty if we have one we return one it's a quite straightforward it's quite simple but let's just talk about how we can solve the problem first let me just take the pin okay that's a start we have this uh, tree let's just say one two three okay Will be one, two, and three, and one of the way that we could do it, that I, I guess that we can just use a recursion, because create a recursive function that take the root, and 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 search for for uh for its right basically, and maybe like we could start with with you know, no with left first we we continue, let let's start here with right because we have no left let's just start here with right, so just delete this okay and uh, and basically we start with 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 it right and also we start to find the right if we didn't find the right we will find the left if we find the left we'll try to find the right if we didn't find the right we didn't find the left we'll return three we'll return two we'll return one and and at the end it will be one uh three uh two and that's it because we we start uh, uh, left first and after that we put the right so that's it so let, let's let's just see how we can do it and actually because it's recursion i guess we will take a, don't worry i will take my time to uh, uh, describe everything in the in the actual uh, functions that we're going um, have so i will have a, um, a little um, array of chorus and um i'm returning the rest the rest return this and let's say that we will have a function that called a uh, helper And I will say function helper. This is where all of our code will live. So helper will be. I will give it um, uh, the root and this to it. It basically. So basically, I have here the root and the rest as an arguments. And I'll start. Let just to start quite fast in this problem. It will be. Um, Okay, let's just delete all of that. So basically, we could have yeah, we could have this one in the middle, and I will say that okay, if root, okay, it's important. I'm saying this all the time, but we're saying always and always. If we're creating a recursive function, if we're creating a recursive function, the first thing that we think about is what is our base case. For this example, our base case, if we have a root, if we have a root helper call the function again helper will be root dot left and I will send the rest with it and otherwise I will push uh, rest dot push root dot val okay and helper again it will be root the right uh, sorry right and it will be and also I put rest with it and uh, that's it basically if I submit it okay let's see Let, let's talk again about how we solve this problem okay so basically let's just try to go to the description Let's try to find how this works actually, because I guess each time if, if we go with the recursive, we have to to describe it quite better. So basically, we have a function. Let's just say that we have this one. We we'll get this one at the root. And the input will be uh, one. Just let just go. Let just. Okay. Let just go here. Okay. So we have uh, val left and right. Okay, so basically let's just say that 
we have uh, one. Let's say that we start root with with one. One. The root with one. Okay. So we start with calling this function. So here, root. Root equals one, and the rest equals empty array. Basically, it is still empty. So basically, we start with adding all the left. So basically, we, we are calling it the helper again. I'm saying if we have root here, root is one. Okay, so put root dot left uh, and rest. Okay, do we have root dot left? No, we have not. No root dot left. So, so basically, this function when I'm calling it again, it will be null. Root will be here equals uh, null, and the rest will be equals still empty array. So basically, this function, uh, this uh, the the left function will not work basically. However, when we start when we start to have uh, uh, when when we go here again we rest the push value okay this we finish this rest the, we're going back basically rest the push root the value what is root the value it is one okay so we put one because actually that when we go left left is null so basically this function uh, the first function doesn't meet it uh, the, the the actual rest array so I'm, I'm calling the, the the helper again on the on the right side this side so I'm saying root dot right, which is two, and rest. So basically, the root here will be, will equals two, and rest will equals uh, array. It has one, so it will be okay. We we'll start with adding the left again. So I'll say, I will call the function again, helper, root dot left. Okay, I I could say also root if uh, and root uh, dot left and root dot right, but this is not the let's let's not make over complicate. Let's just have it like that. So right now we are in two, and root is two. And actually, we call this function again. So basically, we give it. Uh, we, we we call this function because root dot left it will be three, and we, I'm I'm passing the root dot left as as an argument. So basically, the root will be three, and after the address, it will it will still be one. Okay. So basically, we'll call. We find if root. Yeah, we have root called three. I'm pushing root dot left. Okay. Root dot left is is null here. Is null. So basically, and and this is still one. So basically, this function, this um, I'm, I'm, I reached the base case, so nothing happening here. So let's go back with the root the the, the, the three. We finish this first line. So I put this dot push the root the value. So basically, it will be one, three, and after that I will pay this dot root uh, right. Do we have right? No, it actually it has nothing here. So it will be I'm calling root root will be equals null. And uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, it will not add anything physically. And actually, we, when when we finish the three one, we have the two is waiting. If you remember, okay, the two we 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 finish the the the, the first this line of the root equals two, and I will push root the rest the push root the value. So physically, it will be two, and and because of the we we went back to the root is two. And after that, the helper the root the right um, uh, 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 root the right uh, rest. We have no right, so basically this function will not when we solve it will not work. So let's just okay. Let's go into this one. So basically, let's just start. So basically, we have this function. Oh, uh -huh, sorry. Okay. So basically, we have this function. Uh -huh. We have this function. Okay, with root equals uh, uh, one and this uh, this function called root equals and, and i have an array of this okay and this function called uh, first we will start to call it, uh, its left side okay and its left side is uh, is null basically and this function call this it, it, it list like and actually it waits for its response and the if side do 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 nothing actually it's null it, do, it doesn't do anything and also it and after after calling it it it, uh, uh, it left side you push the value to the array so it will be one and after that you call the right side so the right side will was if and was two okay let, let just with if and was two and after that we will have uh, uh, we will call it on the left side and the left side was if again and three okay the f was three and after that we call it on 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 the left side however the f side is is null so we we doesn't do anything and the second thing we push the three up so it will be three 
and we, we, we will try to push the right side, the right side, sorry, the right side, and the right side is null, so we're not doing anything. So we go back, we finish the left side, so we go back to, to 2, and we, we, we push the value, so it will be 2, and we call it, we call it on the right side, so it will be f of null, so we do nothing. So we we'll end with this one. We'll end with this one, and I, I know the diagram of of uh, of uh, of, uh, of the of the 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 the, the recursive function it looks complicated. Maybe my my drawing is not the best. I'm I'm working on that. So I hope. Th so basically, that's it for 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 today's problem. I hope that the uh, I I, des I described it in in a good way. If, if you find my, my solution wasn't that good, or maybe you didn't understand my solution that good be, because maybe I didn't describe it that well, feel free to comment it, to comment if you if you think that I, 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 I did a good job of describing, just subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss a video. And that's it for today's video. See you in next videos.